Hey, badass business owners, today we're going to talk about how to calculate out your cost of goods. But in today's edition, we're going to talk about folks that have to assemble their products or services or create them or mix them or whatever it is they need to do. Now, first, a refresher course. Cost of goods are any material and or labor that is required to produce a product or service. So anything that goes into the making of the product or the service that you provide. Now, once again, our focus today are going to be on people that have to put together materials, ingredients, or products, and they would like to know how to figure out their cost of goods, then you've come to the right video. These are going to be people like bakers and people that put together t-shirts or candles. Basically, anything that you assemble is going to use this process. Now, in today's example, we're going to be making a product that happens to come in a batch of 24. So when you make it and you put it together, you make 24 units. Now, what goes into this? Well, there's ingredient A, which is going to have one and a half gallons of something. Ingredient B is going to use eight ounces. Ingredient C is going to use 32 ounces. And because somebody needs to put it all together, there's going to be two hours of labor and they happen to pay 20 bucks an hour. So let's take a look at how this will work. Well, first you have to look at how you purchase it. Well, ingredient A is purchased in a four pack at $180. Ingredient B is sold by the gallon for $25. And ingredient C is also in a four pack at $160. So we need to break this down by a gallon. So ingredient A, we take the 180 divided by four, and that tells us it's $45 a gallon. Ingredient B, we only had one, so it's still $25. And ingredient C divided by four pack is going to be $40 a gallon. Well, now that we know that gallon prices are, we have to come back and look at how we assemble it. Well, we don't use just gallons. We have to break it down by ounces for two of the ingredients. Now keep in mind in a liquid gallon, there's 128 ounces. And for those of you that do it by pound and you've got ounces and you have 16 in your head, it's because there's 16 ounces in a pound, but in a liquid gallon, it's 128. So that's going to be our magic number. So now when we're looking at our product, you might recall ingredient A had one and a half gallons, ingredient B had eight ounces and ingredient C had 32 ounces. So how would this look? Well, first we have to kind of break it down to the smallest unit that we need. So ingredient A, we're going to leave as a gallon at $45. Ingredient B, we've got to figure out the ounce price. So we take the $25 divided by the 128 ounces, and we find out that's 19.5 cents per ounce. Ingredient C, $40 divided by the 128 ounces, means it's 31.3 cents per ounce. Now we're going to take these numbers and plug them into what we need to figure out our cost of goods. Ingredient A, we use one and a half gallons. So we have one and a half times the $45 a gallon tells us it's 67 and 50 cents. Ingredient B, we have it by ounce. So it's eight ounces times the 19 and a half cents tells us that it's $1 and 56 cents. Ingredient C was 32 ounces at the 31 cents tells us it's $10 and two cents. Our total materials for this batch is going to be 7908. If we add all of that up, it tells us into this batch we're going to cost 7908. But hold on. Remember, we also have that labor. So we need to add on those two labor hours for the $40. So the total cost for this batch of ingredients is going to be $119.08. And because there's 24 in a batch, we just divide the 119 by the total number in the batch, which is $4.96. So now we know the cost of goods per unit is going to be $4.96 sense. Hopefully you were able to follow along. Now let's just do a quick recap of what this would look like. First, you're going to identify the amount needed in each of the batches. Then you're going to identify what the initial costs are that you're starting with. Then you have to break down how you purchase it into the size that you actually use. For example, we went from gallons to ounces. You might go from pounds to ounces. You might go down to teaspoons. Don't forget, Google can be your best friend. Just ask Google or Siri and they will break it down for you and tell you how much is in each of those ingredients. 
The next thing we're going to do is we're going to take those initial costs that we bought it for and divide it by the sizes that we're actually going to be using. Then we're going to take how much we use times the new cost at the lower amount. And finally, when we get the whole batch price, we're going to divide that by the units that we made. And this is going to give us our cost per unit. I know you might have to go back and watch this again. I totally understand. Now, it's really important that you really understand your business numbers. So if you want some more videos on how to know your business numbers, just check out any of them on the channel. But here's one on cost of goods where we go through it again so that you can watch it from a different angle. I'll talk to you on the next video.